today we are doing some late day patchery fishing. We're out here on Joe's boat. Hold on, the sun is going down, so we're just black figures right now. Oh, we, oh yeah. Let me just gotta scooch over here. There we go. Now we can see your face. What up? And uh, basically what we did was we're here in Key Largo. If you look right over there, we're about two miles away from the shore. We're in 12 feet of water. What you do is when you leave the shore, you just go a couple miles and you'll see these big black blotches. Those are the patch reefs. Anchor in the sand, up current of a patch reef, throw out a chum bag, and the fish will come. You can catch all sorts of stuff. I bet we're gonna catch grouper out here. Sure. Snapper, mangrove snapper, yellowtail snapper. Maybe we'll even get a mutton snapper, who knows? That's the goal. Let me show you what rig I'm using and then we will start fishing. Using a super simple rig today. Just take a standard spinning reel. I got the Toadfish Outfitters rod with a, this is a custom black Okuma reel with 20 pound mono on it. And then that is rigged straight to the South Florida Fishing Channel Freeliner rig. Basically it's just three feet of fluorocarbon going to a nice circle hook. They also come in J hooks. And then we got a whole squid on here. We also are using cut chunks of ballyhoo and just throwing them behind the boat. All right, whole squid going right out the back. Toss it right in the chum slick. And now you cross your fingers. That's the key to catching big fish. You're just saying a little prayer as your bait goes down. Someone just took me into a rock. Oh yeah, that was quick. Pretty boy. Oh, he's, yeah. got, he's got a big belly. Oh yeah. You get more of these but when they're in season, right? But bigger. Oh. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. My light action baby right here. This Woo. thing is always producing. Oh, don't tell me you got them. Oh, you getting them rock? Uh, starting to feel that way. Chunk up some ballyhoo. Can't really go wrong with some chunk ballyhoo. Oh yeah. Boop. There you go. Oh yeah. Suck it. Come to daddy. Coming. He's coming. Oh, yellow tail. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice one. Man, we're just plucking fish left and right. Caught that one on a chunk of ballyhoo. Oh, there's something big down there. Yeah, you're coming, baby. <laughs> There's something big. No, oh, he's on. He's on? <laughs> what we got here? A little mangrove. Boop. Oh, look at the yellow tail. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Dang. Double header, baby. Kablam. They're all flicking Woo. around here. Perfect. That's two fish in the box. Where's that box at? Right in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I think you got a fish on this rod. I thought you lost that bait a long time ago. Oh, look at that. Little baby grunt. Get him. Oh, it looks like he went for the rock. <laughs> huh? What we got here? What we got here? Oh, a, a grunt. Grunt. Oh, shit. Well, he's in the live well now. Oh, I got one. Oh, he came off right at the end there. Bam! Oh, oh, sucker. He done tricked me. Oh, oh, I had a good hit. You gotta be quick, right? I know, they're, they're quick. And then they go straight for the rock. That looks like a good one. Oh, porgy. porgy. Yeah. Catching all sorts of species yeah. here. What you got there? Oh, oh, grunt. Oh, shazam. He got himself in a rock. He hit so good and then went straight into a rock. The joys of patchery fishing. Oh, it came out. Well, at least I got my rig back. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got it. Ooh, what you got? Oh, yellow tail. Boy. Dang, that's fancy. I need to get me one of those. Ooh, look at that rod, man! I'll put that on my light action. I oh, shit. That, it's gonna be crazy if something hit. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
looks like a mutton. Yeah. Oh, snap. Snapper. Damn. Good luck. Yeah. How big is he? A quarter of an inch short. 17.75. How depressing is that? Well, it was still a good catch. Come on, Ballyhoo. We just need like, you know, a few of you. That'd be great. Yeah. 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 Dang, look at all them Ballyhoo. All right. Ugh. Ballyhoo net. Doing what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna shoot one live out there. Did it take me a Ballyhoo? I'm gonna cut the tail off of them. Come on, muttons. That's mutton candy right there. Shwack. Yellow tail. Woo. I think something's tapping mine. Oh, I think I might have. Oh, what's going on? Something just grabbed mine. Come on, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. What's going on here? Do I have a fish on? It does look like it. Oh, I think it let go. Oh yeah, look at that bite mark. Phew. All right, I'm sending a fresh, a fresh live ballyhoo back out. This is the one, I just know it. This is the one they were talking about. The birds always go for me. <laughs> Look at it going up. I'm gonna reel this bird in. I don't think they realize that it's stuck on a hook. Like there they go again. There he goes. Oh, he's wrapping around. Ooh, sheesh. Although the sun's almost down. All right, well, they're not letting me fish anymore. I think I'm gonna have to put a weight on here. It's that time. Oh, a little yellowtail. All right. That's a nice looking yellowtail. Flaggy. Pretty boy. You won? No. Oh, it came off? So we got out here at oh, like, no, look. oh. Dang, look at this guy. What what could have done that? That was not a mine, that's for sure. Look at that bite mark taken out of that ballyhoo. So we got out here at like 5 p.m. and it's it's just about 6. The sun is dropping like a rock, but some pretty good action for only about an hour of fishing. Not bad at all. Got fish in the box. We'll see if we can catch something else here. Oh, no. oh what's oh. that? What oh, the? What you got there, bro? What the heck? Oh, that could be a big mutton. <laughs> that was on the lip candy jig. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm stoked. I shouldn't get too excited. I didn't bring my net. It's coming around. All right, then we're going to have to freaking... You want me to open the door? Oh, yeah. I forgot. This is a fancy bow. You got a door on here. Okay, I'm going to come up here. Oh, it's a shark. I've been sharked. I thought it was a mutton. I was stoked. That's all right. Shark's pretty cool. You got a grunt. We found dealt our cards. <laughs> <sighs> What's the best way to do this without getting bit? Oh, no, no. He took my jig with him. Oh, that was, that was fun though. Little grunt on the lip candy. Give me my hook back, buddy. Oh, got another fish on. Oh, looks like a yellow tail. Huh. Keeper. Another one in the box. Oh, good thing he fell into the boat. Huh? You still on there? Yeah, going. Woo. Sounds good, whatever it is. Like a mutton or something? Woohoo! Oh, big yellow tail. Yeah. Damn, these things are pretty hard. Oh man, that's a big one. On the snapper rig. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Snapper rig catches snappers. Never goes wrong. It's a nice uh, sunset behind you. Beautiful. All right, well, that went 
that went pretty well. We got the sun going down now, and I think it's time we head on back. Oh yeah. Less than two hours, and we were just, yeah, it was fish after fish after fish. Woo! It's getting chilly. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I don't know if I'm tingling because it's a little chilly or because of all the fish we caught. Yeah. <laughs> back to land we go. Bam, and just like that, we are back at the crib. I'm very jealous of your outdoor kitchen. Your outdoor kitchen is like 10 times bigger than my indoor kitchen. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Nice porgy. Senior mangrove. Ooh. Yes, mangrove snapper. So pretty. Pretty boys. Bam. That's a nice one. Ooh. Lots of yellow too. Ooh. Oh, juicy? That's juicy. <laughs> Bam. Wow. That's a Bam. juicy one. Oh, yeah. It's looking real good. Bam. And that's how you do it. Patch reef fishing at its finest. I mean, like, we caught so many species in just like psh, less than two hours. And what we're gonna do now is a little patch reef fish versus fish taste test, or whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna cook these fish up all the same way. I've had them sitting on ice now overnight. I'm gonna take one of each fish. We're gonna cook them up right now all the same way, and then we're gonna see which one is my favorite. Oh, look, look who just showed up at the window. Come on in, buddy. All right, or don't. Cats, you just, you don't understand them. We never will. Let's pick our fish. They've been on ice overnight. Pretty exciting, huh? Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one. That's our yellowtail snapper. That's our mangrove snapper. There's our porgy. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And uh, what I'm going to do now is real simple. I'm going to go outside and fill a bucket full of cold water. Then I'm going to descale each fish. I'm going to use a spoon and use the spoon to get all the scales off of the fish. Once all the scales are off, I'm gonna take the guts out, and then I'm also going to take the gills out. Once the guts and gills are removed, the fish is ready to be cooked. And snippity snap, just like that, we got all of our fish cleaned and ready to go. We got the mangrove snapper looking real good, the porgy, and the yellowtail snapper. I even found the circle hook I cut off that the mangrove snapper swallowed. These are the little circle hooks we use on our free line rigs. If you don't want to put on a whole new rig if your hook gets cut off or if the fish swallows the hook and you cut it off to catch it later, we now sell the individual hook packs. So you can just tie on a new hook. We got the size two circle hooks. Great for a little snapper. Then we obviously have our bigger sizes, the fours, great for muttons. Even bigger circle hooks, the five. Cat sail fish, big grouper on that. And then we also have our, our saltwater performance J hooks right there. Go get yourself some. What we're gonna do is wrap these suckers in foil. Let's do that right now. We will start with the yellow tail snapper. First and foremost, a little bit of olive oil. Just dash it over there, mix it on a bit. Then we're gonna salt and pepper them. Do the inside too. Take some cilantro, just break it up on the fish. Put some on the inside. Now we're gonna take some Kerrygold butter, garlic and herb. Ooh, that's looking real good. Cut a couple chunks off. 
put it inside of the fish. Oh boy, it's starting to come together here. I'm not sure if capers and cilantro go together, but I'm gonna take a couple capers here and just drop them on the fish. Put a couple on the inside. Some capers right there. Woo -wee. Take a half a lemon, we'll just squeeze it right on there. Get some on the inside too. Never forget about the inside. Mmm. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Now for the final step, the most important step. Kind of crease your foil up to make a pocket here. Just like that. Take yourself some white wine. I don't think it really matters what kind of wine. If you like to drink it, then it's probably fine. And we'll just give it a very light sprinkle. Bedazzle your fish. You don't need much. Now we're gonna wrap this sucker on up. Perfect! Let's do the other three, and then it's time to throw them on the grill. Look at those bad boys. Got all three fish wrapped up. Got the Traeger preheated to 450 degrees. Let's put them on. Let them sit on the grill for, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 minutes. You can use an oven to do this too. It doesn't have to be a Traeger. But if it's not a Traeger, then what is it? And uh, just find something to pass the time with. That's actually not bad for a $5 bottle of wine. Woo wee! They've been cooked for 25 minutes now and they smell phenomenal. That looks like the porgy. Oh yeah, wow, perfect. Mangrove snapper, looking real good, woo! So good, the lens fogged up. Look at that cheek meat right there. That's the meat right from the cheek. That's like a prized possession in a grouper. Mmm, woo! Here's the yellowtail snapper. Wow. Let's give them a try. Woo -wee. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with the porgy. Now, I'll just take a bit of meat right from the body, just like that. And um, I'm not going to dip it in the sauce or anything. I just want to get a good taste of what this fish tastes like. Okay. All right. I'll put it a little bit in the, in the sauce. Hmm. I've had people tell me that they don't really like porgy, and I've had some people tell me they love porgy. I've had porgy fried many times, and you can't tell the difference between snapper and porgy once they're fried. But now that they're cooked like this, let's try the, the mangrove snapper. Much more tender than the porgy. Like, a lot more. And then let's try the yellowtail snapper. Wow. I'm gonna try the porgy again. Mmm. Mangrove snapper. Mmm. Yellowtail snapper. Mmm. So the last 10 minutes, I've just been sitting here picking away at the three fish. I ate one half of all the fish off the porgy, the mangrove snapper, and the yellowtail snapper. I ate half of each fish. And I've been, you, you know, I think the results are gonna surprise you because they surprised me a bit. Well, a little bit. The porgy I thought was really good. The meat is more firm than the snapper, but if you dip it into the wine, butter, garlicky sauce and then eat it, it tastes exactly the same as the snapper. Really freaking good. I like the porgy. Porgies will always go in the box. You catch a big porgy, put it in the box, the mangrove snapper. I personally thought this was gonna be my favorite. I would say softer than the yellowtail snapper, surprisingly, maybe because it's a really small one, but it had kind of a weird taste to it. It had like a muddy, 
kind of a muddy flavor. And when I gutted the fish, the porgy and the yellowtail snapper had kind of like grainy poop, like more solid grainy poop inside their bodies. And the mangrove snapper had like, it was like mud. It was like, it was juicy. I don't know. And the, and the meat tasted kind of muddy. Very lightly though. It was excellent eating. Once you dip that meat in the, uh, in the wine sauce, there's no muddy flavor. It's just a nice, white, delicious, flaky meat. The yellowtail snapper, hands down. The yellowtail snapper was my favorite. Very soft, delicious, white meat. There's no off flavors on that meat at all. And in the sauce, pooey, that was delicious. Normally, I think mangrove snapper is my favorite. Maybe this one is just on a weird diet. I don't know. Maybe a bigger one would taste better. Hmm, I, I, I don't know. But uh, the porgy is gonna have to be my second favorite in this batch. And then the mangrove snapper, unfortunately, normally my one of my favorite eating fish. For this style of cooking, I'm going to put it in the, put it in last place. But they were all delicious. I would serve any of these three fish to anybody. They will always be going in my box when I wanna do a catch and cook. If you're happy right now, smash that like button if you wanna cook yourself up some fish like this. I. I'm gonna finish eating these and then tomorrow morning my brother has been doing a live stream every morning for like the last three months now every Monday to Friday he live streams 30 minutes before the stock market opens and then an hour into the market and you can watch him trade live every Monday to Friday and I've been watching him for like a month now well I've I've been watching him for three months now but the last month I've been watching him every day any day I'm not fishing and then finally I got the courage I'm like He's making all this money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my luck with some stock trading. So make sure you follow my brother on YouTube, Alex Winkler. Yeah, you know what? I'll see you guys in the morning. The next day. Good morning. Good morning. Looks a little windy today. Woo, super windy. What better way to start the day when it's windy like this with a cup of coffee? And then I'm gonna jump on my brother's live stream. He's already streaming right now. He usually starts at like 8.45 and he streams until about 11 a.m. Monday to Fridays. So if you wanna hop on the live chat, I'm on there. I'm usually leaving comments. Feel free to leave a comment. And um, if it's windy like this, it's almost guaranteed that I'm gonna be on that live chat. Nothing like starting your day with a cup of coffee, seeing what's going on in the world, picking my brother's brain and saying hello to some subscribers. Thank you guys all for watching this fishing video. Got a couple fishing trips planned. Fingers crossed this wind dies down. A new engine has been ordered, but that's for another video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.